Hi there, happy Tuesday. Um, today, we're pulling back. We're, I've been doing a little bit more specific um, topics and you know exercises and things and all that kind of stuff. Today, we're gonna pull it all the way back to why is it that for some of us, we're watching these videos, we're reading the books, we're listening to the podcast, we're doing all of the things to learn all of the things and so we're we're learning all these tips and tricks we're learning you know what what to do or how to improve our lives or how to get somewhere or how to set goals and how to right so we're we're doing all of the research we're doing whatever that means to us but we're doing all of the research we're gathering data gathering data gathering data and we're wondering why our lives still don't look the way that we would like them to look we're still not feeling the results we're not seeing the results from all of this learning does that sound familiar to you this is a fairly common phenomenon of knowing what to do or knowing you know why we're doing what we're doing and still no, nothing's changing the life still looks basically the same, or maybe there's incremental changes, but not big ones. Here's the deal. Here's the one missing piece, and it's only one, and it's only one, and it's only one, but the missing piece here is taking physical action. We could know cognitively all of the things, but until we take physical action, we won't see any change. Knowing is not enough. Yes, knowing is half the battle. We know that from oh, now. I'm really showing my age. We, some of us know that from our younger years. Knowing is half the battle, but it's only half the battle. Half is not enough to see results. So here's the analogy. Let's say I'm teaching you how to cook a meal and I give you the recipe card and you have the recipe card in your hand. Here it is. Here's the recipe card. Um, you have all of the ingredients, you have all of the tools, and we've talked through all of the techniques and what to do and exactly what whisking is and why it's important to preheat the oven before putting anything in, and you cognitively fully understand all of the things on this recipe card. You know, you have all the tools, you have all the ingredients, you have all the things you need, and you comprehend all of the techniques and exactly what to do. Oh, this is a simple meal. I can absolutely do this. But dinner is not getting on the table until you actually put that learning into physical action. Knowing is not enough. It's only half the battle. And this is what it means to embody change. If you ever hear that word floating around, embodiment, this is what embodiment means. Embodiment doesn't mean just imagine what it will feel like in the body. No, it means taking physical action, physically moving your body according to what you learned. That's why sometimes these health healthy books, like they might be like super thin and still take me months to get through because I'll get to a goodie something that I want to do. And then I'll be like, oh, what is the physical action? What is the practice that I can put into practice right now so that I'm feeling this differently? And then once I embody that for a few weeks and get the practice into habit, then I'll go back to the book and, and continue on. That's why listening to audiobooks while you're doing other things, not able to pause, absorb, and then ponder what is the physical action that I need to take in order for this change to happen. So the tip for today is, you know, what is the latest aha? What is the latest learning you've had that you would like to see in your life? And then break it down. What is the physical practice? What do you need to do every single day for you to start seeing that learning coming to life by moving your body physically? Let me know what you think about this. Again, this is more wider spread, but it's universal. It doesn't matter what the learning is by embodying it. And by embodying it, meaning we move, we physically move our bodies. That's how we get the results, not just comprehend them, but actually see them and feel them and live them. Um, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.